So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Good morning and welcome to Diaries of a Board Game YouTuber for Monday the 11th of September. So, what have I done this week? Well, we have five videos. Firstly, we had four videos for this classic game from 2009, Stone Age. So, this is a worker placement game, but after you've placed your workers to get resources, you have to roll dice. So, there's an element of luck in there that you don't see quite as much with a lot of other worker placements. It's got that farming Stone Age theme. I just think this is a very well put together game that just really works as an introduction to worker placement. And so, the videos I've done for this, I did a how to play video so you can learn exactly how it plays. You can see a game of it played as well as a playthrough. And then there's the short review and the full review. So, that's Stone Age. But then we also had uh, we had one video for this, and this is Serengeti by GCT Studios. So all I did for this was a review. What this is, is it's a deck builder game for two players where you're trying to track down and collect animal specimens. So uh, yeah, you can take a look at the review to find out more about that. Uh, what else have we got to talk about then? Um, I think it's just on to the figures then with that. So we're at about 20 and a half months and we've got the giveaway going on at the moment. The all important giveaway, super giveaway, because this is for pre-order of Charterstone or Pandemic Legacy Season 2. Some really anticipated games, especially by me. And it seems it's going down well with you the viewers as well and you the freeloaders as well. <laughs> Um, but then, you know, that's fine, it's part of doing this. Um, so yeah, this week we are now at 1,045 people have entered the giveaway. My most successful giveaway, with regards to the number of en people entering anyway, was Terraforming Mars and Adrenaline, uh, which I did at Christmas. Well, December, so basically Christmas. And that had 2,200-ish. Now, we're about a week and a half, we've got about a week and a half to go, so we're about halfway, but things tend to be f best in the first week, so, yeah, um, I'm still not too unhappy, you know, we had about half as many people this week as the previous week, but still a good number of people, and I've still only shared this um, in a couple of places, so last week I'd only shared it. On the channel and I was getting people who truly follow the channel could get extra entries and be rewarded more for doing that and have a better chance of winning because of it and then I've also shared it in the group I'm most active with and I feel I'm most a part of and I think I get more comments and stuff um, I don't know but yeah so I've shared it with that group uh, this week and then moving on for this uh, final week and a half I'll be sharing elsewhere in other Facebook groups because that's really where I'm most active. I really need to get into like Reddit and stuff but I just can't get the hang of it. So if you're looking for an easy way to get entries, you know, there are probably a ton of people on Reddit who have never heard of me because I never go on there <laughs> and you can post it up there and get tons of entries uh, for using your referral link. So uh, that's enough about that. Facebook. 3,099 followers on Facebook. So, that's about half as many, again, we're seeing half as many, so obviously this is kind of related and tied to the giveaway, we're seeing that correlation in figures that everything is about half what we saw last week, but it's still a really good number, I'm really happy with it. And we've got the same situation with Twitter, 10,309 followers, um, which is about the same change as we've seen for Facebook, not too surprising, it's the same situation, again, half as much, but those are figures that I love to see. It's growth. Growth is important, and I'm achieving it, so joy -o me Speaking of growth, we had a big milestone in the last week. I did kind of post about this on social media, so you may already be aware, but we passed 5,000 subscribers. Woohoo! <laughs> 
Uh, so we're up to 5,062 subscribers, uh, which is a lovely increase. Um, interesting thing here. Elsewhere, as I was saying this, the correlation has been about half as much. Here, it's not half as much this week as last week. It's um, like two thirds. So, yeah, I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's then talk about views. So uh, we're up to 311,708 views. Wow, that's over 10,000 views this week. Over 10,000, you know, my target is 4,000, and I know the giveaway's going on, that makes a big difference. But yeah, as we go into the analytics, what's still making the biggest difference, the single biggest game that's making the difference, Massive Darkness, still top of those charts. I still, there are there's very little content out there for this game, and that's what's doing it. And you've got all of America receiving theirs at the moment, and yeah, um, it is going down. It's slowly going down as more of other people's content goes up, and the people have received the games and seen the content. But it's really, yeah, it's been wow. I mean, you know, there's so many views for so long now. But again, between the four videos, we're just under 3,000 this time instead of just over, but still, that's around 3,000 views this week. That's really good. So then what has been the other 7,000, the more normal views? Well, the giveaway, I'm changing the videos periodically every few days of what you can watch to get entries in the giveaway. And so they're getting some views that way. Um, I have noticed previously when I've done this and I've just put up the videos for the game you can win, you get much more people, I think, watching the videos to learn about the game in case they win, or maybe, I don't know, maybe just watching the videos to decide if they want to enter to win even. Um, whereas where it's been changing and it's just back catalogue, because obviously I haven't got any videos for these games because they're pre-orders. Um, People are watching them a bit, but it's very much a reduced amount. Obviously, because I'm spreading them out over multiple videos, it's less obvious effect as well. But the few that I am seeing, it's maybe a couple of hundred per video. So in the last week, there's been like four or five videos, a couple hundred. So it's still about a thousand views. But that means that the channel's views are still doing well in general. So I'm really happy with that. Now, new arrivals, I don't have anything new because... I mean, Outlive here is still in shrink. Um, I'm a bit bit behind on things. You know, I've got my pile here I'm working through. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, there's lots of games I want to rush out and buy before they go out of stock, but I just don't feel I can do it when I've got this backlog of stuff where I had my buying spree of uh, buying second-hand games and selling games. And I need to do more of that, but I first need to get the games played. <laughs> Which kind of makes sense, I think. Um, so then, what can you expect this week? Well, I haven't got the box here to show you, but there will be a review of First Martians, uh, which is Adventures on the Red Planet by Portal Games. So you'll be able to see my review on that, see what I think of it. Um, if you want to learn how to play it, then Watch It Blade have done a great video. If you want to see playthroughs, then I recommend check out One Stop Co-op Shop. Um, I found their playthrough videos fantastic and really useful for learning the game. And this is a difficult game to learn. Um, so all I've done is a review and you'll be able to watch that. Then we've also got going to have, in theory, videos for the upcoming Osprey game, Samurai Gardener. So how to describe this? It's a real-time... Uh, card slash tile placement game to score points where it's a race to get the most points. It's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so there'll be, I'm trying to remember what I've, I've got, I've done a how to play and um, working on a review for this. So there'll be two videos of that coming this week. Okay, that's it from me. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, you know what to do to help my figures grow and make me famous. Yes. Okay, thanks a lot, and as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.